when we know something's coming, we prepare for it. <clears throat> when it hasn't come yet, and we're preparing, we can look kind of foolish. Like people can think, what's that guy doing? Uh, but we know why we're doing what we're doing because we know what's ahead. One time I was traveling and I was flying from New York to Winnipeg. And um, I knew that in Winnipeg, it was like minus 20 Celsius, uh, maybe uh, seven or eight below zero Fahrenheit. But in New York, it was plus 15 Celsius. It was like almost 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So there was a huge temperature difference. And I knew that in Winnipeg, there was snow on the ground. So uh, I knew that when I got to Winnipeg, it was going to be really different. And uh, so I had to be prepared. So I um, uh, was in New York. I checked in my luggage, but I kept my parka and my boots out of my checked in luggage. But I didn't really want to be wearing them in the airport in New York when it was so warm. So I went to the gate and I had my parka and my boots stuffed under my chair where I was sitting so that I wouldn't look too foolish. And then somebody came and they sat down on the chair across from me in the row of seats across from me and they could see my boots and my parka under my chair and, and they were doing the same thing with theirs. And they said to me, uh, I see we're doing the same thing. I said, yeah, you know, this is one of those days where you look foolish at one end or the other. And I'd rather look foolish at this end where it's warm and I have my heavy clothing than at the other end where it's really freezing and I don't have my warm clothing. And so when I got to Winnipeg, I was prepared. And so even if we look foolish, it's best to be prepared for what we know lies ahead.